Are you happy with the way the world is going? Do you think we need a new plan? Are you happy working like a slave just to make ends meet, or do you believe there's a better way? A new social structure in which we can work together instead of fighting each other to free us from the economic slavery imposed on every single one of us today. Well, you're not alone. There are billions like you who know there must be a better way. There is hope. There is a plan. Something completely new. We are creating a new alternative, a new reality, a new social structure, without the need for any violence, any resistance, opposition or conflict. Every day, millions of people wake up to realize that we become enslaved by the system imposed on us. When we are born, we enter this world free of any agreements, contracts or obligations. But in time, we realize that there are endless rules and regulations imposed on us, laws and rules that we did not agree to. We can't travel freely. We need passports and ID documents. And we have to work to earn this thing called money, whether we like it or not. This is not freedom, this is pure slavery. From the first breath we take to the last breath we breathe out, there is always some invisible authority keeping us under control, telling us what we can and cannot do. This is not the life we imagine for ourselves. This is not the kind of world we belong in. All of us know that there must be a better way. And every one of us wants to be free. But very few of us know what to do and where to turn. Welcome to the world of Ubuntu, where we are laying the foundations for a new social structure. More often than not, the solutions are right in front of our eyes, and the simplest solutions are always the most effective. Our plan is so simple, we cannot screw it up. We are turning our crazy world around, creating a world of abundance and prosperity that very few of us can imagine in this insane world we are trapped in. By turning competition and conflict into collaboration and cooperation. Starting with our small towns and villages, where people still live close to the earth, close to the land and to nature. Creating communities of abundance, where people live in harmony and support of each other, rather than divided in fear of each other. Where everyone's talents and skills are used to enhance their lives and to benefit the whole community. A world where everything we imagine is possible because we are doing it for ourselves and for each other. A world where we can create, build, grow, invent and implement anything we desire because the obstacles to progress have been removed from our society. A world in which every child that is born can grow to their full potential, not confined by the restrictions imposed on us today. A world where the tools of control that restrict all aspects of our lives have been removed a new social structure, a true utopian world in which the need for money will rapidly fade away. Welcome to the world of Ubuntu and contributionism, where everything we ever imagined is possible. And it all begins with one small town. So, which will be the first town to start the domino effect? Just one small town that'll change the world. Why not yours? Hello, I'm Michael Tillinger and I'm the founder of the Ubuntu Liberation Movement. Welcome to the launch of our new strategy and plan of action which we call One Small Town Can Change the World. So what is our plan? First we find a small town of around 5,000 people who want to participate in their own makeover, their own salvation, their own rescue mission. Then we find consensus between the people, the mayor, the council. We identify the special skills and talents of the people. We identify the industrial and environmental potential of the town. Then we develop a razor-sharp business plan for a variety of community projects to match these skills and individual potential. These projects are actually meticulously well-planned businesses. But there is one huge difference between these and other businesses. These belong to all the people of the town, 
together with the investors that made it possible. Everyone in our town who participates in the transformation will contribute three hours per week towards one of these new projects. This creates a powerful free labor force that no other corporation can compete with. Then comes a really critical part of our plan. We analyze how much our town needs to consume of everything we produce. And then we produce at least three times as much as we need. We can do this with ease because our cooperative labor force. Everything we produce is distributed freely to everyone who participates. And the other two thirds are sold on the open market to our neighboring towns and cities or even exported if need be. But herein lies the twist. We sell whatever we produce cheaper than any other supplier. How is this possible? Because of our free labor force and the ingredients that we supply ourselves. And so in a strange twist of fate, money will become the tool that destroys capitalism. It becomes clear that contributionism devours capitalism wherever it may be. This will lead to a substantial income stream from all our projects very quickly. From food to technology, healthcare to music, tourism to engineering and so much more that would not be possible in a capitalist model. Why? Because it would simply not be financially viable. Set your imagination free and imagine how much wealth our little town will create from just 50 new projects. But what do we do with all this money? We keep it simple, as we always should. One third goes to the investors or the farmers or the factory owners that turn their businesses into a community project. One third goes to upgrading and maintaining and constantly creating new projects based on the needs and skills of the people. And the last third is distributed equally to everyone who participates in the projects. This provides for an elegant and simple transition phase. No one has to leave their job because everyone has three hours a week. And very soon, the people of our town will be receiving more money from community projects than their jobs, while getting most of the things we need to live for free. As this abundance begins to grow and our town becomes wealthy beyond comprehension, new projects will start up every week giving expression to the creative talents of our people. One by one, the people who work for the mines and other dangerous industries will leave their jobs because they earn more money and benefits from contributing only three hours per week. And without any resistance, opposition or conflict, the nasty corporations will close because nobody will work there anymore. And the existing system will simply shut down and fade from our memory as we create a new system and a new social structure. At this point we realize that we don't need money at all. And yet we have more money now than we've ever had before. Everyone will know that money does nothing and people do everything. And so in a strange twist of fate, we use the tools that enslave us to free us from that slavery and build an unshakable foundation in which the tools of enslavement have no more effect. There has never been a simpler way to unite the people and create abundance and prosperity for everyone. And there has never been a more lucrative investment opportunity to conscious millionaires to participate in creating a true utopian future for everyone. So, which will be the first small town to start the domino effect? Just one small town that'll change the world. Why not yours?